Welcome back my fellow adventurers. We have finally made it to our last destination on this trip. We've made it to Redwood National Park in California. Northern California to be precise. That's right, home of the world's tallest trees. These very old yet very mighty historic redwood trees can span well over 370 feet in height. That would be over five stories taller than the Statue of Liberty. With well over 200 miles of trails in this park system, you could take your pick of either walking these trails, biking, or even camping at some of the spots as well. With how massive this park is, we decided to make a two day trip out of this. We went all over the place, including Lady Bird Johnson Grove, even up to um, Fern Canyon. James Irvin Trail was quite the experience too. You'll be seeing that a little bit later on in the video. Dun, 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 dun. One of my most favorite parts about this trip as well was just driving through all the twists and turns of all the roads going up and down the coastline going through all the little back roads little trails that we could find it was just a pure joy uh, being able to go through and you know have fun looking at all the trees looking at the ocean side but then also just being able to take a little quick sharp turns as we went obviously you can't go too fast around these corners but it's still just a fun little I guess you could call it like a nature roller coaster in a way. It was just a blast. We have finally made it up to Northern California through the Redwoods. And we've done the coastal drive off of US 101. It was really neat. And it brought us to this beautiful coastline here. Take a look at this. Boy, do I have a story for you guys. So the other night we were trying to get to our camping spot, um, but sadly we got there a little too late and the gates were closed. So we we're trying to look around last minute for a spot to lay low. Um, so we were looking for a spot, right? And we were trying to find um, just like a little motel or a gas station, something to kind of like, you know, camp in, in the truck with. And we found this uh, motel and we went and parked in the back of the parking lot and I packed or I backed into um, 
this little corner it had like um you know some shade and stuff like with the trees and everything <laughs> anyway i usually sleep with my uh head to the to the tailgate to the window back back there and it was just it was just us for now you know it was it was um there was no one else around there was like maybe another car or maybe two cars next to us so we sat there we camped we camped in the truck for the night just in the back lot and in the morning i sat there and woke up to seeing a car next to us that wasn't there the previous night all of a sudden i heard the door shut next next to me and i saw the woman walk behind the truck and again i you know i sleep right there with, with my head to the window and i saw her looking at um, the window for a second so i thought maybe she's you know seeing the the qr codes or just reading the, what the back of the window says or something and I see her go down and I was like, oh no. So she, she did. I got to uh, wake up. I got to wake up and start my morning off with some strange, strange woman um, peeing less than a foot from my head. So it, it happens, man. <laughs> I don't think she knew we were in the vehicle since the windows are tinted and stuff i don't think maybe she just saw that or if she did she just didn't care or maybe she just felt safe and comfortable enough to squat a little squat right behind the truck right there and uh just take care of some business but it was definitely funny um and hopefully when she was going potty she got to see our two little adventures so hopefully you're following us if so thank you for following us and and out that's okay your secret is safe with me <laughs> So you can see where all the damage was. This is the stuff I like the most. <laughs> so fuzzy. Right up to the top. A little queen in the forest. Look at you almighty. After exploring and seeing as much as we could out of these two days in the redwoods, it was just, it was such an amazing experience all in general. We ended this final night here in California just by watching the beautiful sunset go all right over the trees and then decided to bid farewell to beautiful California and start heading back home. Started heading east, our first stop for the night would be stopping in beautiful Reno, Nevada. These are cool fireworks. Do you like them? Yeah. That was Great yay. way to end this whole trip, huh? They're blowing up. <laughs> it's because they know the princess is in town. <laughs> and Bunny has to see him too? Yeah. Of course. It's had a long journey as well.
perfect. We're still going. See, there's purple and green and Whoa. pink and more green. What do you think? Did you have a great little trip, baby? There they go. Can you see them? What did you see? Ah, Lovelock, Nevada. This small little town with a population under 2,000 people sits right outside of Reno, Nevada. But the thing that is most important to us about this little town is the city park, which holds thousands upon thousands of locks shaped out of hearts or whatever lock you might just have locking your love with any loved ones that you want and it's become such a huge attraction that many and many more people every year keep coming to this little town to add their locks alongside others love lock nevada we stopped here in what 2015 or 16 when we got engaged 2015 when we got engaged, 2016 when we got married. And then we came back again in 2016 on our marriage. Now it's 2022. We're going to add the third and final lock to complete our little trifecta of locks. We're going to add auroras onto it now. Let's see if I can find it in one quick pass. Babies. The final lock to all of them, right here. Oh. Slide it through this one. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. The trifecta is finally completed after. Almost 10 oh, years like, later. What do you think, Mr. Do you like seeing them? All the many of thousands of locks. But these ones are the most special. After our wonderful stop, we decided to keep going on all the way through Nevada, pushing onwards, getting back home. But we had to make one final little stop at this place called Wendover, Nevada. Now, Wendover, Nevada actually sits right on the state lines between Nevada and Utah. In fact, the state line splits right through the middle of the city. Well, my fellow adventurers, it has been quite the trip. Spanning all the way from Idaho, all the way through Montana, all the way through Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, and Utah. This was a grand yet very fun and exciting trip that I will definitely cherish in the years to come. I'm not sure how we're going to top this one. But looking back at everything that we did, all the cities that we passed through, all the side stops that we made, every little picture, every little video that we've done, looking back at all of this truly helps me remember why we do these things. And it is because it is just the pure adventure, the adventure of exploring, of seeing something new, of trying new things. And being able to do all this with my family just makes it a lot more special and more memorable. 
And with this reason, I do hope that it inspired you guys in some way to also plan and make your own trips in the future. Traveling is such a wonderful thing and it really did not cost a lot of money to do all this stuff either. That was one of our main worries before we actually ever started making any kind of travel plans. But actually when we went out and started doing it all, we realized quick that it really doesn't cost that much. It is easy to save up for any kind of trip. If you're new to it, I would suggest starting off small, going maybe to the next state over. Maybe doing something that's within maybe 500 miles or less. And then just kind of slowly going from there and there. I do hope that all of our travels and adventures that we've been showing you guys does inspire you guys to some point to maybe get out there and try it yourselves. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. But with all that said, no, this is not the end of our trip. This is not the end of our adventure. Far from it, my friends. This was just the ending to our out west trip. Our next video, we're going to be taking it a little bit more down towards the Rockies. You'll see what I mean coming up soon. As I always say before I end any video, I'll see you guys on our next adventure. <laughs>